This brief video is on the urine toxic metals test offered through Lab Test Plus. So a urine toxic metal profile, or what's also called the urine toxic metals, provides a direct assessment of heavy metal exposure. And when it comes to toxic metal exposure, the urine is actually a very convenient medium to assess for the presence of these heavy metals. Now, these can come from environmental sources that could be contaminating water, food, or sometimes even topical applications. So for example, obviously fish would be a common exposure source for things like mercury. And the urine toxic metal test is often used as an initial screening assessment for exposure or what's called a baseline evaluation for metal excretion before implementing some type of detoxification uh, therapy. So sometimes what will be done is a baseline urine test will be uh, collected and then some type of chelator like DMSA or DMPS is given. And then a follow-up test is done six to eight hours later then comparing the difference. Now, it's important to understand that the urine toxic metal test does not provide total assessment of heavy metal levels in the body, but instead is used as an evaluation for exposure. It also does not indicate or diagnose any type of disease or illness that would be associated with heavy metal exposure. So this is a typical urine toxic metal profile. We can see a number of things elevated here like aluminum, lead is in the uh, very high, and then the yellow would be more of the medium high markers, antimony, for example, or cadmium. So it's good overall screening assessment, for, again, for metal exposure. Now, sometimes these metals could be coming from water supply. So moving forward with some type of water analysis can be helpful. So again, it's used to assess metal excretion over time, again, particularly during the process of detoxification intervention. Uh, this is best performed when using a baseline urine toxic metal, and then again, using some type of chelating agent to induce metal excretion, or you could just do the test as just a screening assessment overall. Now, the urine toxic metal information is often complemented through a hair analysis, and that is often recommended to do because a hair analysis gives a representation of exposure over time because the urine toxic metal markers could just be acutely elevated because of recent exposure, whereas a hair analysis can give an indication of exposure over time. So the hair metals test is actually available through Lab Test Plus as well. And then additional blood testing is advisable, particularly if high levels of certain metals are present like arsenic, lead, and mercury. Most reference labs provide blood evaluation for certain heavy metals, particularly for lead. Here in the United States, they do a pretty good job at assessing for that. So the things like lead and mercury, if those are elevated, can often be evaluated through blood testing as well. For additional information about Lab Test Plus and the services provided, you can go to labtestplus.com. Thank you.